Yeah, I came to see the president uh, to first say Happy New Year to him. And uh, also, I brought the greetings from my people uh, to also thank him for the various supports he gave to us during this our period of uh, security challenges. And the support is also given to us in terms of uh, the various approvals. The approval to convert Federal Medical Center Oweri to a university teaching hospital for the Federal University of Technology. The approval that converted College of Arv and Eco College of Education to a Federal University of Education. Only two weeks ago, Igbos that came home from Lagos and outside Southeast enjoyed the benefits of the second Niger Bridge, something that is worthy of commendation. I also thank him and then I appealed to him for a further support to support us with some technological uh, deployment we have planned to be able to do an advanced kind of security control in the southeast and uh, he has also given uh, his approval to that and uh, any moment from now uh, we will be getting some surveillance equipments and some modern technologies that will help us uh, manage security so that we can fight crime with little or no collateral damage to the environment. So what can I assure your people in the new year? Well, uh, my people are enthusiastic and committed uh, Nigerians. Uh, we believe in the unity of the country and we believe that uh, for us to grow as a people, we need the support and cooperation of federal government. And that I have always uh, uh, stood for. So uh, going forward, I know 2023 will be better than 2022. And uh, the level of uh, 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 development we have witnessed from 2020 to 2022. Uh, will be improved upon. And my people have seen a lot of things. If you go to the southeast, in Imo State, for instance, you see that we got the approval of Mr. President that is now enabling the Imo State government to partnering with the Nigerian Navy to dredge Yoguta to Orashi River to the sea. That is opening up that uh, maritime uh, route. Then if we, there is a naval base that will now manage and control uh, pipeline vandalism, crude oil theft, and all forms of uh, criminality that has besieged that area for a very long time. And uh, the crime is, has gone down tremendously since the naval base was uh, established. So I think that we have hope for a better Nigeria. The, the, the road that we just completed, which Mr. President commissioned, the Oweri to Olu, dualized express road. The president has approved that the uh, Imo State government be refunded. And the good news, every day I come to Mr. President, one positive approval or the other. So our people are happy, we are committed, we are happy, We've, we have never had this so well. So, and that is why I continue to tell you people that the party to get in my state is APC. Those who are fighting me in Imo State, none of them, they are not saying we are not working. They are not saying we are not developing the place. They are not accusing us of any corruption. All they are saying is they are contriving, instigating insecurity out of desperation and then blaming the insecurity on a government. You have seen, I'm a subnational. The critical security measures are managed and controlled by federal government. So I cannot be blamed for insecurity because uh, I, it cannot single out the most state. National security is about the 36 states of the Federation with FCT inclusive. So I think uh, we've done well. We've done so well, and I'm happy. My people are happy. By the grace of God, as soon as we're able to co bring the insecurity to naught, uh, we'll have uh, an environment that we will all celebrate and be happy with. Uh, during this season, we had relative peace in Imo State. And Christmas is a very critical period for us. The New Year, also very critical. You know, apart from few scratches in the hint hinterland, we are on top of the security situation now in Imo State. Thank, Thank you. you.